three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy, Fried Chicken. And this is my first gameplay uh, that I'm going to post on Overwatch. This is my second game overall on it. I played a Kill Confirm game, and I did not do very well. Uh, I can't really blame anything else, but... Um, I don't have too many tips and tricks on this uh, map so far, just because this is only my first Domination game ever and my second game ever on it. But some things that I have noticed is that um, C and B looks like a pretty good combo. Obviously, if you start at the A flag, you're going to probably tap A to get your first point streak out of the way. And then it goes directly toward the middle. But what I've noticed is capping C and going directly towards A, you can uh, usually get a few kills. And what you saw me do was just cross, you know, cross the map and come flank around towards A and then I cap A and now I'm at my fourth point streak which um, is gonna help you get your kill streak. There's a couple things I did notice on this map as well as you know the the combination and uh, domination of C and B and that's the air support is decent if it's AI air support but you know, like the controlled air support, the AC-130, the Reaper, um, probably the Osprey Gunner. I haven't gotten there yet. But they're not that great. Just because you see the heat signature of the enemy that you're trying to kill. But sometimes they're on that second level, and you can definitely waste some of your bullets and some of your missiles. The IMS proved to be a really good kill streak on this map. Um, another thing that I played in the, uh, another thing that one of the guys did on the enemy team in the kill confirm game that I was in was he used a century gun and you can pretty much lock down a whole side of the map with the century gun. Right there, I got kind of lucky because I did flank around and these guys happen to be looking the opposite direction. Um, when I do my flash check, I saw that some guy was around that corner. And it allowed me to throw my C4 and get an IMS. So note that IMS placement that I just put down right by C. Um, that IMS placement is amazing. That's going to be one of the kill streaks that I run predominantly on this map. Because when you turn a corner, um, it's really not easy to see a Claymore or IMS unless you have sit rep. And I don't know how many people actually run sit rep, but unless they have the specialist bonus or they have sit rep on, they're not gonna see that IMS and it's gonna kill you. It's so many boxes and there's so many things to actually hide behind and put your IMS behind. It's a really good kill streak. I wanna play around with uh, one of my classes that I have uh, the Century Gun on and see how that works as well. So I'm just going to play around with it and then I'll be bringing you all more gameplay on the Gamers Remorse channel and here on my solo channel as well. But this map kind of reminds me of High Rise. The domination points are in a straight line across the middle of the map and then there it's really linear. It does have multiple levels similar to High Rise where you can go just back and forth and but you know it's pretty much back and forth back and forth but it's a really cool map it's really fun to play because there's so many things to hide behind and yes it's a new map so that makes it uh, pretty cool as well now I do speed up my reaper because I don't get many kills I mean my reaper I, I pretty much fail and I think I get two kills out of two reapers in this gameplay so you know it would have been nice to get more but there's so many things hide behind so many buildings to go inside that you know it's just it's just too easy to get away from those kill streaks those air support kill streaks and then you'll see my attack helicopter uh get shot down pretty quickly so you know it's just it's just one of those things i mean what can you do now i was running my uh UAV online. my s and d class my free for all class where i have dead silence so I was able to sound whore. So these two guys, I can hear them coming up the steps. 
footsteps are metal. And as soon as I heard that metal, I knew that these guys were coming around. Since that IMS did so well in that spot, I just replaced it. You know, I put my new IMS right there. So another thing is the sound horn ability. I think will be pretty good on this map because you have a lot of wood, you have a lot of metal, and then you have this concrete which you can really distinctly hear where an enemy is and then this window is pretty cool to kind of jump down and cut off the enemy if they're running past on the outskirts of the map and I think I saw that guy on the mini map but yeah super fun playing this uh, playing with this map I have to try it on some other game modes I think I'm gonna go back in and uh, put objective on so I can see how it uh, looks in the objective game modes. And right there, I saw somebody out of the corner of my eye. I didn't see him on the mini map, so I assumed he had assassin, and I ended up getting him. And that guy just gets owned by the C4, and he gives me my second reaper that I fast forward, forward through because you know it's just so hard to kill these guys with the. Um, with the Reaper. Plus there's a bunch of things on the map, cranes um, and stuff like that that will block the missiles from the Reaper. So you have to be very aware of those things because they'll, they'll shoot those missiles from the Reaper down easy. So I fast forward a little bit too much but I get back on pace. Um, I was kind of surprised that I didn't fall off the edge of the building once in this game. That was kind of surprising to me but it helps that I did that walkthrough and that's something that I urge anybody to do that has this map is do the walk do a walkthrough in a private match so you can kinda test it out before you get into a gameplay uh, so let me know what you think about the map the gameplay and I will be posting more also check out my gamers remorse channel I'll put that link in the description and thanks for watching y'all peace out